Not bad, bad hands. A little challenge or more of a chore to do on a snowy morning is to brush off the snow from the car before driving to work. I have to get out of the house about 10 minutes earlier than usual, which is not too bad actually. But what's bad was our experience when we bought our first car. This is not that car though. This is a different one and we are happy with the purchase of this car. Let me share with you today that bad experience or the bad decision that we made and hopefully you won't do the same mistake like we did. Hey yeah, friends, let me introduce myself. My name is Kimmy and my family and I moved here in Canada in December of 2022. We landed here as permanent residents through the Saskatchewan Immigration Nominee Program and Express Entry. But so yeah, today we'll, I will be sharing with you our biggest mistake. So you won't do the same. <laughs> this has been our biggest mistake yet since we moved here. And hopefully this will be the last major bad decision that we make. I'm actually anxious to share this one because this was such a disaster. It was really a bad, bad decision. It was a poor decision. And uh, yeah, hoping that nobody does the same mistake as we did. If you're wondering what happened, um, to say it simply, it is just that the first car that we bought was repossessed by the bank. But here's the catch. When we bought the vehicle directly from the last owner, we paid it fully in cash and we just had it for over a month before it got repossessed. So how did it happen? <laughs> One day someone knocked on our door asking if we own that Chevy Equinox um, that they are looking for. Um, they gave the details and everything and yeah, we confirmed, of course. We said yes and how can we help her? She explained to us that she is from a towing company and that they came to our house to let us know that they are retrieving the vehicle from us. That time, both my husband and I were majorly confused. Um, was it us? What did we do? We were able to register the vehicle. Um, we paid insurance and we don't know what we did wrong technically and then the tow lady explained to us that they work with the bank and that the vehicle has a lien with the previous owner which simply means that the vehicle is a collateral for whatever loan that um, the previous owner had basically the previous owner was unable to fulfill her obligations and has not paid the bank for the longest time probably and the bank has been searching for the vehicle Looking back on what happened, the tow lady helped us understand that our situation or the situation that we are in. Um, we told her that we are newcomers and almost did not understand whatever was happening at that time. So she called the police to respond on site and for someone to assist us and explain to us further on our situation to explain to us what was happening at the time. And yeah, so um, when the police arrived, the tow lady talked and explained everything to the police. Uh, there were two police officers who responded and we were thankful that they did not leave us until we were sh until they were sure that we were okay. <clears throat> I was literally I was literally crying a river on a cold January day. So we went back to our apartment and just sat quiet, still in shock with what happened. A few minutes later, the police knocked on her door. They said they checked her situation and that they wanted to check on us again. They also were kind enough to let us know that the th for things like this, we can file a claim against the previous owner at a small claims court. And should we buy another vehicle in the future, we can check with ISC for the information. Oh, ISC or the Information Services Corporation to check on the property that we would like to purchase. Long story short, we filed a claim. It was a long process, but we have hope. We are not done with it yet, but we are getting there. With ISC, we were also able to get the essential information on this previous owner's identity that was very helpful on... Uh, very helpful 
on our part on claiming a on filing a case at the small claims court. So what is ISC? ISC stands for Information Services Canada. ISC is the leading provider of registry and information management services for public data and records. In simple explanation, if you are buying a house, a car, or any registered property, you can check with ISC if the property that you would like to buy has a lien or if it has a clean title. With what happened to us, we learned that even if you were able to register a vehicle um, or buy a house per se, the buyer must have the due diligence to check on the whereabouts of the property, on the whereabouts of the property that you would like to buy. Um, with, IS, with ISC's property check, you just have to pay $10 for you to be able to get the information that you need. For vehicles, you just have to have that VIN number or the chassis number. When we checked the vehicle, we entered the VIN and it showed the previous owner's name and a little bit more information on her identity. And it clearly states there that she has a lien with the specific bank. It was just not detailed if the lien was for a cash or personal loan or if the vehicle is on loan. So but yeah, at least you know those essential details. Just a little backstory. We found the vehicle that we first bought in Kijiji.com. And since we were newcomers at that time, our thinking is that there will be no fraudulent transactions here in Canada compared to the Philippines. Um, we trusted that this is a different world from where we used to live in where you really can trust anybody quickly when it comes to property buying and selling. And that was our biggest mistake. We let all our guards down. We did not doubt. We have been so trusting and basically we did not think. Looking back at what happened, the biggest factor for us not to think about it, not to think thoroughly about it is because we believe that we needed a vehicle right away. We wanted it quick because we have the money on our hands to buy a vehicle. We have that budget. Um, we have a budget set aside for our vehicle. Um, but just as all you want with our decision, but it is what it is. It happened. We have trusted the word of the seller that everything is okay. We trusted their assurance. I say there because I am referring to the couple who the couple that we were talking to um the wife was the registered owner the husband was the main guy who was doing all the negotiations with us um so yeah they even drove us and accompanied us to sgi to register the vehicle under our name and the fact that we were able to register the vehicle and get an insurance for it was kind of our assurance that our purchase was good and everything was okay but after everything, I am doubting if the couple that sold us the vehicle are even husband and wife. And I did realize later that maybe the reason that they drove and came with us with the registration is to make sure that the vehicle is now under our name and will no longer be under the wife's name. So, yeah. I was so mad at myself for not thinking this through. My mind was in chaos thinking about what happened until I came to terms with it that we really just made a bad decision to trust right away. It was our first time and we were learning the process of buying a car and because both my husband and I wanted to immediately buy a car, this happened. Um, so yeah, it was just very unfortunate that that happened to us. It was a very, very, very bad and poor decision, but we learned what we had to learn and we know better now. And hopefully you don't do the same mistake as we did. Yeah. So friends, wherever you are in the world, never trust right away. Big, big purchases takes time. And yeah. Think through every decision if you're making such a big purchase. And for those in the Philippines, eh, and if you're moving here in Canada, hindi lang sa Pilipinas man luloko, dito meron din. <laughs>
I left ISC's links below for your reference and I'm just not sure if ISC services is available on other provinces here in Canada but for Saskatchewan residents or if you are moving here in Saskatchewan I highly suggest that you use ISC whenever you would like to buy any property especially when you're buying directly from the owner um, if you're from a different province, I highly recommend to do your research as well. If there's something like ISE that you can use, or if there are certain steps that you need to take before buying a property to ensure that the property that you are buying or the, the property that you are about to buy has no liens or ties or whatsoever. Um, yeah, I think that's everything that I can share with you right now from that experience um thank you guys for watching and i hope you picked up something from this video aside from the fact that at one point of our life both husband and i were a not so smart buyer <laughs> but yeah be a smart buyer be wiser than us and don't be impulsive in making big purchases if you are from saskatchewan i highly recommend that you use um isc especially when you are buying directly or yeah, especially when you are directly buying from, <laughs> you are buying directly from the previous owner. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.